Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss example 5b under Newton's law of cooling which is under applications of first order ODE. A thermometer is taken from a room where the temperature is 70 degree Fahrenheit to the outdoors where the temperature is 40 degree Fahrenheit. After one minute, the thermometer reads 60 degree Fahrenheit. Number Roman 1, what will the reading of the thermometer be after one more minute? Number Roman 2, when will the thermometer read 67 degree Fahrenheit? Right? Alright, to solve this problem, first, we need to extract the information in terms of T for time and capital letter of T for temperature. Right? Then, we can write Tm and then temperature and time. Right? Now, we check one by one. Okay? A thermometer is taken from a room where the temperature is 70 degree Fahrenheit. Means that this is the value for temperature of room or temperature of surrounding. So we can write Tm equals to 70 degree Fahrenheit. Right? Right, after that, outdoors where the temperature is 40 degree Fahrenheit, okay, means our initial temperature equals to 40 degree Fahrenheit. So we can write time equals to 0 minute, right? And temperature equals to 40 degree Fahrenheit. Right, next, after 1 minute, means time equals to 1 minute, the thermometer reads 60 degree Fahrenheit. So the temperature equals to 60 degree Fahrenheit. Right? Number Roman 1, what will the reading after one more, one more minute? Okay? Means we can write number Roman 1, T equals to T for time equals to 2 minutes because one more minute after one minute. Right? And temperature equals to question mark. Okay. What will the reading? Okay. Alright. And then number Roman 2. When will the thermometer read 67 degree Fahrenheit? So we can write number Roman 2. T equals to question mark for when. Okay. And then temperature equals to 67 degree Fahrenheit. Right. So now we extract all the information in terms of time and temperature. Right. And temperature of room. Okay. So we can start from D temperature over D time, which is equals to constant K times T minus Tm. Right. After that, we separating variables time and temperature. So we get this. Okay. We move over dt to right hand side. So we get times dt, d time. Right. And after that, we move temperature to left hand side. So we get 1 over. Temperature minus temperature of room. Right? After that, integrating both sides. From here, we just put integration sign for both sides. Okay? Then we integrate left hand side and right hand side. Okay? After we integrate left hand side, we get ln t temperature minus Tm, temperature of room. And then equals to, after we integrate constant dt, it is equals to constant t plus c. Okay? Why we get this after we integrate left-hand side? Okay? 
Alright, let's say we have integration of 1 over x plus 2 dx. Right? When we integrate, it is equals to ln modulus x plus 2 plus c. We can use integration by u substitution. Okay, we choose u equals to denominator. Okay? Then we integrate with respect to u. Or we can use the concept of if we have numerator equals to the derivative of denominator, so when we integrate, the answer will equals to ln denominator. Right? And then plus c, but we just put plus c on one side only. Right? And then to integrate k dt, we can refer from, let's say we want to integrate constant 2 dx, right, with respect to x. So we get constant 2 and then whatever x plus c. Now we want to integrate constant k with respect to time. So the answer equals to constant k and then t for time and then plus c. Alright. Alright. After that, we need to write t minus t m as a subject. Okay. So we move ln to right hand side. Okay. So we get left hand side equals to t minus t m. Okay. And then now right hand side we get index base e. After we move ln to right hand side, we get index base e. E is an Euler numbers, okay? And then to the power of kt plus c, right? And then from here, we can separate e to the power of kt plus c. We split to e to the power of kt times e to the power of c using the properties of indices, okay? Using this formula, okay? If we have index with same base, okay, and the operation here is multiplication. So if we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, the answer will equal to a to the power of m plus n. Now we have e to the power of kt plus c, okay. So, so using the properties of indices, we can write e to the power of kt times e to the power of c, right? Right, after that, e to the power of c, we equals to constant c because e means Euler number, which is equals to constant 2.718 something. Constant to the power of constant will equals to constant. Okay, so that's why we can write e to the power of c equals to c only. Right? Right, after that we get t minus tm equals to ce to the power of kt. Okay? Right, since we want to find the temperature, so we need to write temperature as a subject. Okay? So, we move minus Tm to right hand side. So, we get temperature equals to Tm positive, okay, and then plus Ce to the power of Kt, right? From the previous slide, we get T equals to Tm plus Ce to the power of Kt, right? Right after that, we can write t equals to 70 plus c e to the power of kt. Okay? We replace tm equals to 70. Okay? So we get this. Right? Then we can name as equation 1. Right? Alright, the first information here, we can find c. Okay, we use the first information here to find C. And the second information here is to find the value of K. Alright? Alright, to find C, 
we substitute t equals to zero, t for time equals to zero, temperature equals to 40 degree Fahrenheit into equation one, right? So from equation one, t equals to 70 plus c e to the power of kt. So we substitute t equals to zero into t here. So we get this, okay? Zero times k equals to zero. Okay, that's why no more k here, right? Then we substitute temperature equals to 40 degree Fahrenheit into equation one, okay? Into here. So we get this, right? Right after that, e to the power of zero equals to one, okay? So c times one equals to c. So we get c equals to 40 minus 70. So c equals to negative 30, right? After that, we substitute the value of c into equation one, right? So after we substitute, we get this, okay? We substitute C equals to negative 30 into C in equation 1. So after we substitute, we get this, okay? We get temperature equals to 70 minus 30E to the power of KT, right? Then we can name as equation 2. All right. All right. Then we use the second information to find K. Substitute T equals to one minute and temperature equals to sixty degree Fahrenheit into the latest equation, which is equation two. All right. So from equation two here, we replace T equals to one minute. T for time equals to one minute, and we replace T for temperature equals to 60 degree Fahrenheit, okay? Then we get E to the power of K here. We have negative E to the power of K, and then equals to negative 10, okay? And then we get E to the power of K equals to negative 10, over negative 30, okay? Or e to the power of k equals to positive 1 over 3. Now we want to find k. So we need to move e to right hand side, okay? Then we get k as a subject. And then equals to, after we move e to right hand side, we get ln, okay? And then 1 over 3 here, okay? So, k equals to ln 1 over 3, okay? Or, we can solve using calculator, so we get negative 1.09861, okay? We have k negative value because the temperature here use the concept cooling here, right? That's why our k equals to negative value, okay? Then we can substitute the value of k into equation 2, right? So, after we substitute, so we get this, okay? t equals to 70 minus 30e to the power of t ln 1 over 3, okay? We substitute k equals to ln 1 over 3, or we can substitute k equals to this value, okay? But if we use ln 1 over 3, the answer is more accurate, right? So let's say we use k equals to ln 1 over 3. So we substitute into equation 2 here, into k here, so we get this, okay? To avoid error, we better put T in front, okay? Because if we put T at the back here, sometimes we 
can confuse, okay? Because T here means alone, okay? Only 1 over 3 inside lawn, right? So we cannot multiply 1 over 3 by T here. So that's why to avoid error, we better move T in front here, right? Alright, so this is the temperature at any time t. Okay, temperature equals to 70 minus 30 e to the power of t ln 1 over 3. Right? Then we can name as equation 3. Okay, equation 1, 2 and 3 actually are the same equation. But equation 1 we write in terms of C and K. Equation 2, after we substitute the value of C. And equation 3, after we substitute the values, the values of C and K. Alright? And equation 3 is known as the temperature at any time T. Right? From the previous slide, we get T equals to 70 minus 30 E to the power of T ln 1 over 3. And we name as equation 3. Right? Then we can answer question number 1. Okay? We substitute T equals to 2 minute. Then we can find the temperature. We substitute T equals to 2 minute into equation 3. Right? So from equation 3 here, we substitute t equals to 2 minute. Right? Right. Using formula e to the power of ln x, which is equals to x, okay? Where coefficient of ln here is positive 1. So, and using this formula, Okay, so we can move 2 here. We move up using the properties of logarithm here. Okay, from P log AM equals to log AM to the power of P. So we can move 2 up here. Okay, then we can write temperature equals to 70 minus 30 E and then ln 1 over 3 and then square here. Okay, square here comes from times 2 here. We move up here using the properties of logarithm, right? And then we can write temperature equals to 70 minus 30 times 1 over 3 squared. We can simplify this, okay, using this formula, okay? If e to the power of positive ln x okay the answer equals to x so now we have e to the power of positive ln 1 over 3 squared okay now our x equals to 1 over 3 squared so we have 1 over 3 squared we can simplify right then we get temperature equals to 70 minus 30 and then times 1 over 9 then using calculator, temperature equals to 66.67 degree Fahrenheit up to two decimal places. Alright? So this is the temperature when the time equals to two minute. Okay? Or one more minute after one minute. Right? Means two minutes later. Okay? Right, so this is the answer for question number one, right? Then we can write after one more minute, the, temper the thermometer reads 66.67 degree Fahrenheit, right? After one more minute here means two minutes because one more minute after one minute, right? Or, 
let's say we want to use ln 1 over 3 equals to negative 1.09861 okay so we can use temperature equals to 70 minus 30 and then e to the power of negative 1.09861 and then times t okay in this case we put t at the back okay and after that we replace time equals to 2 okay then using calculator we get this okay how to calculate this using calculator okay right we just press 70 and then minus 30 and then times and then we open bracket and then to calculate e we use shift ln okay on your calculator and then we put we we use bracket open bracket again and then negative 1.09861 and then times 2 and then close bracket two times because this close bracket is for the second bracket here and the last close bracket here is for the first open bracket here all right then we get this answer right all right now we continue with question number roman 2 okay we need to substitute temperature equals to 67 degree fahrenheit into equation 3 here to find the time right so from equation 3 here now we replace temperature equals to 67 degree fahrenheit right all right from the properties of logarithm p log a m equals to log a m to the power of p so we can write 67 equals to 70 minus 30 e and then we move t here okay we move up here using the properties of logarithm so we get t here okay we move up so we get exponent t here right all right after that using the formula of e to the power of positive ln x equals to x okay we can simplify e to the power of ln 1 over 3 to the power of t equals to 1 over 3 to the power of t only no more e to the power of ln because we use this formula right okay so now we have 67 equals to 70 minus 30 times 1 over 3 to the power of t right right so we move minus 30 times 1 over 3 to the power of t to left hand side and then we move 67 to left hand side so we get 70 minus 67 which is equals to positive 3 and when we move negative 30 times 1 over 3 to the power of t to left hand side we get positive 30 times 1 over 3 to the power of t okay then we get 1 over 3 to the power of t equals to 0 0.1 because 3 over 30 okay 3 over 30 equals to 1 over 10 or equals to 0 0.1 right now we want to find t okay so to find t t here t here is an exponent all right so what should we do okay we need to put ln on both sides okay why we must put ln on both sides okay because t here is an exponent so we can use this formula okay 
Right, from this formula, we can write exponent t here. We can move in front here, okay, using the properties of indices, okay. From here, we have m to the power of p here. We also can write times p in front here, right? Right, after that, now we have multiplication operation. So, we can move ln 1 over 3 to right hand side. So, we get time equals to ln 0 0.1 over ln 1 over 3. And then using calculator, so we get time equals to 2.0959. Okay. Then we need to put unit. Okay. So from here, we can approximate time equals to 2.1. Okay. Then we put unit. The unit here for time is minutes. Okay. Right. Then we can write after 2.1 minutes, the thermometer reads 67 degree Fahrenheit. Right. This is the final answer. Right. Got it. Coming up next, Newton's law of cooling to find the time of death which is under applications of sparable differential equations. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.